Hello, how are you today? This is Sara Cruz of Golox Portugal. This time my tips and tricks are going to be about my top 5 things to visit in the city of Tumar. Before I start, I would like to tell you that I'm not doing a countdown of top things because all of these five things are some of my favorite things about Tumar. There is no priority in visiting them. I think that all of them are absolutely unmissable if you come to this city. And by the way, where is Tumar? If you don't know, it's located in central Portugal, halfway between my hometown Coimbra and the capital of Portugal, Lisbon. Tumar is known as the Knights Templar City of Portugal or the Templar City of Portugal because it was founded in the 12th century by a man called Gualdim Pais. He was the right arm of the first king of Portugal, Dom Afonso Henriques. And the lands around Tumar, as well as the castle that already existed there, were donated to the Knights Templar. Gualdim Pais was the master of the Knights Templar order in Portugal in the 12th and 13th centuries, and not only founded the city of Tumar, but he ruled it and conquered land to the south of it, allowing Portugal to become a kingdom in the 12th century. So as you can see, Tumar is really important in the history of Portugal and that's one of the reasons why it's an absolutely unmissable place if you come over here. It is not really easy to get there by public transportation. You do have trains, but usually they are only regional trains, meaning that they stop everywhere as you go but if you're on vacation and if you want to see the countryside that's an option and there's trains from my city Coimbra and also from Lisbon and there's also a few buses that uh, go there obviously if you don't want to use any of these you can also rent a car to get there or you can ask for a guided tour and that's the reason why I love Tumar so much I have guided so many tours tours there already. It's one of my favorite cities of Portugal. It's not very big, it's a quiet city, it's not very touristic as well, so it's just a lovely place that you can enjoy. My first suggestion is the Church of Santa Maria do Olival, located near the city park, which is really gorgeous, and also the market and the main pedestrian bridges of the city. Santa Maria do Olival is an incredible church from the 12th century and you should definitely visit it because it's the national pantheon of the Knights Templar in Portugal or the Templar pantheon of Portugal. It is there where the founder of Tumar, Gualdim Pais, is buried along other masters of the Knights Templar order of Portugal. This church is also one of the most impressive constructions of Gothic architecture in Portugal because though originally it was built as a Romanesque church in the 12th century, its facade was changed throughout the centuries, so you will see a different kind of construction nowadays and that's its Gothic architecture theme. There is a part of the Romanesque architecture remaining there nowadays, which is on the back of the church. If you go around it, you will be able to see it. Outside the church, you will also be able to find a tower, which was a watchtower, but it's also a bell tower. And it's really, really different because usually bell towers were attached to the churches and this one is right in front of the church. Over there, there is also an amazing view to the castle of Tumar that I will mention in a few minutes. And speaking about bell towers, there is also another very beautiful one close to it, which is integrated in São João Batista St. John the Baptist Church, which is located in Praça da República, the Republic Square of Tumar. 
This is my second tip. So you can go to the Praça da República and over there not only you will find this very beautiful 15th century church, but you will also see the building of the city hall, which used to be a palace and you will find lots of beautiful uh, cafes, restaurants surrounding it. There is also a medieval restaurant close to it if you're curious about trying it. And all around it there are the narrow pedestrian streets of Tomar that still follow the medieval architecture of the town. So it's really like a journey back in time, walking around there and appreciating the streets, the architecture of the houses and some of the oldest buildings of the city that are located over there as well. The Church of St. John the Baptist also receives a very big festivity, which is called Festa dos Tabuleiros. Festa dos Tabuleiros is one of the biggest religious festivities of Portugal, and it happens each four years in Tumar. It's so big that they only celebrate it each four years. Pay attention to my tips and tricks about typical festivities of Portugal because I am going to tell you a little bit more about Festa dos Tabuleiros and show you a little bit more how it happens in Tumar and when it happens in Tumar as well. My third favorite place to visit in Tumar is the synagogue. The synagogue is located just about a two-minute walk of St. John the Baptist and Praça da República, the Republic Square of Tumar. And it's obviously in one of those narrow pedestrian streets that used to be the Jewish quarter. The synagogue is a 15th century construction and the only Jewish medieval construction still preserved nowadays in Portugal that you can actually go and visit. This synagogue was really important because it allows us to know the importance of the Jewish community in Tumar at that time. They were quite powerful and they had money to construct this temple over there. A temple that served not only for religious purposes, but it also used to serve as an assembly as a school and court for the religious community of Tumar. All right, and now my fourth suggestion is probably the most obvious thing to visit in Tumar and it's something that never goes unnoticed when you walk along the river and in the downtown. It is the complex of the Convent of Christ. And when I say complex, I mean a castle, a convent, a few structures that make part of that convent and one of the most impressive structures of uh, construction in Tumar, which is Pugões Aqueduct. You may see this aqueduct when you are within the building, within the Convent of Christ. If you walk around the Convent of Christ from the outside, you will also see part of the aqueduct on the back of the building. But my suggestion is that you go a little further away and for that you will need a car, a driver, a tuk-tuk, a taxi, someone that takes you there or if you have a car go there by yourself. Just make sure you put in your GPS Aqueduto de Pugões and it will take you to the main part of the aqueduct. The aqueduct is 6 kilometers long, it has 18 arches and in Pugões you will find the most impressive area of this 16-19 Aqueduct. So it's a 17th century aqueduct that was built to supply the convent with water, obviously. My last suggestion, fifth suggestion of places to visit in Tumar is a very peculiar one. It is the Matchbox Museum of Tumar. Have you ever heard about a matchbox museum? Well, we have one in Tumar. And over there you will find over 43,000 matchboxes from more than 122 countries. I am sure that you will find at least one matchbox of your country over there. This is a private collection. There was a man that collected matchboxes from all around the world throughout his life. And then his family donated his matchboxes to the city hall. The city hall decided to install it in an old convent. It's 
St. Francis Convent in the city center. So if you go there, not only you will be able to see that amazing collection of matchboxes from all around the world, but you will be able to experience a little bit more of our beautiful 17th century architecture of Portugal. The Convent of St. Francis also has a church available to visit right on the side of the Matchbox Museum. And the courtyard where the Matchbox Museum is located also has a ceramics and painting workshop. So if you go there, you will be able to see painters doing ceramics, painting some tiles, and usually tile painting is something that people are very curious about when they come to Portugal. So you have an opportunity over here to see people doing these kind of traditional Portuguese tiles and maybe buy something. That's actually one of my favorite places to uh, buy souvenirs in Tumar because it's very typical, traditional and obviously they are real artisans and you will be buying directly to the producers, so it's a great thing. All right, and uh, that's my five top things to visit in Tumar. Obviously, there are other places in Tumar that I find quite attractive and interesting to visit, but usually when I go there, and if I go with time, obviously, because it takes some time to visit all of this, I make sure to show all of these to people. And if I go there myself, I love going to these places, film them, photograph them. I hope to have the opportunity to do that very soon, because I last time I visited Tumar was probably um, in... October 2020, something like that, and it's probably the longest I haven't been uh, to Tumar. I used to go there almost every week <laughs> before. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my five suggestions. I hope you enjoyed knowing about them, learning about these places in Tumar and learning about Tumar if you haven't heard about this city before. And I will see you in a couple of days for my next video. I'm going to be vlogging about a rice area <laughs> close to my hometown, Coimbra. So I hope you stay tuned. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for those who have already subscribed to my channel. If you haven't done so, please do it. And obviously, I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.